Meerkats are part of the cat-like group of carnivores, which includes hyenas and mongooses. In fact, the yellow mongoose is referred to as the red meerkat, and may even share burrows with today's animals. But this episode is focusing specifically on the single meerkat species. Meerkats are a type of mongoose, though unlike many mongoose species, these animals don't have bushy tails. This has led to another common name for the meerkat, the slender-tailed mongoose. Meerkats are social animals and live in family groups called mobs. The group is led by a dominant couple or couples, typically no more than three breeding pairs per mob. Below the dominant breeding pairs are non-breeding subordinates. These individuals are usually related to the dominant couple and act as babysitters and sentinels for the group. Last are the babies, who must be given care until they're old enough to forage. In general, meerkats belonging to the same mob get along well. However, if rival meerkats are seen, they're confronted with violence. It's not impossible for meerkats to join other mobs, though it can be dangerous. Young meerkats may also leave or be forced out of their mob in sibling groups, similar to African wild dogs. Meerkats weigh around one and a half pounds and reach about a foot tall when standing on their hind legs. They're most often seen in this position when on sentry duty. Meerkats have many predators, including hawks, eagles, jackals, and snakes like cobras. Thankfully for the meerkats, they're resistant to venom, but that doesn't mean snakes don't present danger. Meerkats are known to mob predators by bringing the whole family group together and hissing, scratching, and biting at the threat. If this isn't an option, at any given time, meerkats are within 160 feet of a burrow hole into which they can escape. Meerkats dig their own burrows and use these to cool off, keep warm, and stay out of the rain. They're diurnal and enjoy laying in the sun to warm up. These small mammals live in southern Africa and can be found in dry, arid regions. They get their water from their food, which is mostly composed of insects but also includes other arthropods like scorpions, to whose sting they are immune, as well as lizards, bird eggs, and smaller mammals. Meerkats will go out foraging as a group, but break off individually to hunt. Sometimes they'll share food with each other, but they'll also try and steal from one another if given the opportunity. Baby meerkats specifically get shared meals so they can learn to hunt. Adults will bring the babies scorpions with gnawed-off stingers so they can learn in safety. Meerkats are able to breed year-round, and the females in a group don't synchronize their births, so there are often babies to take care of. A female meerkat may produce up to three litters per year, which include three to seven young. The gestation period lasts just under three months, and the babies are born blind and helpless in the burrow. They'll remain here for three weeks before emerging, and then spending another three to six weeks before they're ready to forage on their own. Meerkats reach reproductive maturity around a year of age, though they may not begin breeding until later due to the family group's structure. In the wild, they average ten years old. For more facts on meerkats, check out the links in the description. Thank you to Dasha Dance and Elephant Puppet for today's request. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.